following is a presentation of the National Sim Racing League of America. Enjoy the race. Hello everybody, this is Napa Fan here, and this is race number one in season number five of the Inner Loway Rockstar Pro Series. We are here at the Daytona International Speedway for the traditional opening event of the season, the Daytona 125 kilometer race. And uh, we're ready to get the fifth season of this very unique series started here today. I am very much so looking forward to this season. A lot of veterans in the field. And a lot of great drivers looking to win a Napa Fan Championship. We also have some very special drivers in the field as well. And one in particular coming out of retirement. Caleb Hoffman back to racing. Still going for his first career Napa Fan Championship. He came oh so close to doing so last season in this series. Just could not pull it off, but he's ready to come back along with 23 other drivers looking to get a Rockstar Pro Series championship. Of course, this series used to be the Aero Electric Pro Series, but are now um, the Rockstar Pro Series. Decided to change the sponsor and the new sponsor to this series. New cars, new mod, new system. The same old great racing that we're going to have all season long. I'm alongside Carter Friesa for this one. And this series is for the veterans. A lot of experience in the field here today. But uh, some of these guys don't have as much experience as others, like Emily Anderson, Thomas Troxel, and Nick Smith. So do you think those guys who have prior Air Electric Pro Series experience, do you think they might have an advantage uh, with this series being one of the only ones they're going to be in this season compared to those guys who are veterans racing in the Chick-fil-A Cup Series right now? I definitely do because these drivers that have experience in this series have more experience on the tracks that these drivers will go to, not only today, but during the season. We have a lot of unique tracks in the Rockstar Pro Series. We will go to GNC Stunt Road, Eldora, Zen Joltis, and the Coca-Cola Super Speedway. Just a lot of different racetracks that these guys go to throughout the season that we do not see in other series. It's what makes this series so unique. And the point system is another unique thing about this series. Only the top 10 finishers in each race receive championship points. And it's identical to that of Formula 1. So 25 points for the winner, 18 for second, 15 for third, 12 for fourth, 10 for fifth, and so on. And uh, it's definitely a very interesting point system that creates very interesting championship battles. It's a great series. I absolutely love it, and I'm glad we're back to running here in the Rockstar Pro Series for season number five. The 15 race season begins here today with this 32 lap race at Daytona, and uh, we got 24 drivers in the field looking to win the first race of the season. It is the number 20 of Davey Johnson, who will start on the pole position for tonight's event. He's alongside the number one of Nicholas Samadio. Nicholas Samadio won twice last season in the Aero Electric Pro Series. He's looking to get some wins here this season. Driving for the number one. Emily Anderson was a two-time winner last season as well. And she returns back to Napa Fan competition, looking to move her way through the ranks. Next season, it is rumored that she will replace Elijah Gordon in the Chick-fil-A Cup Series. And uh, she likes to get a little bit more experience here in the Aero Electric Pro Series, or the Rockstar Pro Series, I should say. We're going to have a hard time uh, getting the right names for this, but uh, she is there. Starting third alongside Stuart Gratton in the number 78. Last time he ran in this series was season number four. And he's looking to get some wins uh, for the 78 first row machine. 
Cameron Gadu alongside the 42 of Blaine Keyes. Blaine Keyes, the defending champion of the Rockstar Pro Series, got the championship last season. Emily Anderson was close to winning the championship last season. She just couldn't pull it off. Richard Kingart won at Watkins Glen last year. He's alongside Jesse Turner, who got his first career Napa fan win right here at Daytona. And he is starting on the outside of Kingart in row number four. And row number five, the guy who is always good in this race, Tristan Allen, won the first two Daytona 125Ks. And uh, he led lap 30 and has been in contention for each one of these events. He starts alongside the 41 of Zachary Fitzwater, defending Daytona 500 champion in the Chick-fil-A Cup Series from earlier this season. 24 drivers in the field. 32 laps, no pit stops, but uh, if they crash, the caution will come out. And that will be a major factor into who wins this event. Davy Johnson and Nicholas Samadio. A couple of very experienced and highly talented drivers on the front row. Let's see what happens in the first race of the season here in the Rockstar Pro Series. The Daytona 125K is green. Season 5 is underway. Lap one led by season two Chick-fil-A Cup Series Daytona 500 champion Nicholas Samadio. Stewart Gratton to the inside of Emily Anderson, a run to the inside of the one. And Cameron Gaiju right behind the 78 looking to draft for the second position. Side by side down the backstretch, Nicholas Samadio and Stewart Gratton. Yeah, Samadio got a really good jump there on the start, was able to clear. And no, he's not able to get back down in front of Stuart Bratton. Bratton. Bratton hanging on to the inside with Gaiju and Tristan Allen. We alluded to it earlier. This is his race. He won the first two events here in the Air Electric Pro Series and then uh, finished top 10 the next two times. He is brilliant in the Daytona 125K and uh, Tristan Allen looking for another Rockstar Pro Series victory here today. He's got help from here. Jalar of Alonzo behind him, another veteran in this series. And here he is, Caleb Hoffman, back in Napa fan competition, out of retirement to race this season in the Rockstar Pro Series, looking for a championship. And like I said, he almost won the championship in this series last season. If he won the race and uh, all those other guys in championship contention fell outside the top 10, he would have done so. And there were times where he would have been the champion in that finale race last year. But he could not hold it off. And uh, he still wants to get a Napa fan championship. He's got 18 wins on his career. Looking for number 19 here today to tie. And tie once again, Garrett Sinor over in the Chick-fil-A Cup Series right now is where he's competing. And still side by side for the lead between Nicholas Sambadio and Stuart Gretton. Kind of a deadlock on the front row right now and not much passing going on up front but it is a long race so no need to go crazy with the passing right now especially considering that there are only 24 drivers in this event yeah and you see there at the back one of the better plate racers marty johnson in the 12 not having a very good run so far but as you can see we're we are only on lap four so he's gonna have a lot of time to work his way up to the front and maybe try and go with the 11 of nathan stapleton but right now Trying to work with the 31 of Cody Sill. Doing a good job so far. All these guys, all 24 of them in this pack, all within a second of each other. And there we go. Cameron guides you to the inside of Stuart Grant and Nicholas Sambadillo. A lot of these guys are in the Chick-fil-A Cup Series, but this guy is not. Cameron Gaju missed out in the Chick-fil-A Cup Series this season for his second straight season. And, uh... He's been doing pretty decent over in the Turkey Hill Series so far, especially in qualifying. And here he goes to the inside of Nicholas Samadio, his good buddy, for the lead. Both of these guys have been racing for a very long time here on Napa Fan. And they're 1-2 here at Daytona. Gaju leads lap 5 in the Daytona 125K. Yeah, great job by Gaju to get to the front here. And now Tristan Allen's going to stick the nose underneath. 
for the race lead, bringing the 24 of Virgil Arvin Alonso with him, and the 17 of Caleb Hoffman. Virgil Arvin Alonso is going to make it four wide to the inside of Tristan Allen, Cameron Gaju, and Nicholas Samadio. And Gaju, he got pushed up there by the number two, and off a of turn four, they are four wide. Will they keep it together? No, they won't. Sam Edio in the outside wall just a little bit, but they're going to figure it out. You might want to watch for that one. He tapped the outside wall. He might have some damage to the right side of his race car. But how about those guys? We do not call this the Pro Series for nothing. These are the best drivers on Napa Fan, and they showed us why they are right there with saving those race cars. Yeah, I don't think the one will have any damage whatsoever. He didn't hit it very hard. Just lightly brushed it, sort of like a Darlington stripe. Yep, it looks pretty good for the number one of Nicholas Samadio, so all is well for all 24 drivers so far. Lap 7 of 32, remember there are no pit stops in this race, so it's a green flag race from here on out, but you never know, one of these guys could make it four wide again like we saw with Harry Jellar and Alonzo and cause another huge accident, or a huge accident, we have not had one yet in this race, but uh, here's Josh Crash, one of the Lesser experienced guys in the field, but uh, he's still a veteran in this series, and he's to the inside of Caleb Hoffman for the lead. Right behind him, it's Trey Barto in the number four, and uh, definitely one of the best drivers to race on Napa Fan as well. One of the longest running drivers on Napa Fan. He's on the inside lane, pushing Josh Crash to the lead. We got Alexander Rowe in the number three, one of your drivers, by the way, in the Chick fil A Cup series. He's on this inside lane. Whereas Rowe hasn't had the best of season so far in the Chick fil A Cup series, but. Uh, it's a veteran in this series. We're going to get a win here today in the number three car. Yeah, and that'd be nice for him to get a win. Unfortunately, it wouldn't count towards the Chick-fil-A Cup Series. It wouldn't give me a win, but it'd be nice for him to get a win. He's had a struggle, like you've said, in the Chick-fil-A Cup Series so far this season. So far, Ace Garcia has been doing better than him, who is not in this series. But, yeah, and now he's going to yeah, he's gonna go for the lead right here. Three wide to the inside of Josh Crash and Trey Barto. Alexander Rowe now to the point here at Daytona. Number 11, Nathan Stapleton. He's going for his seventh career Napa fan win here today. And uh, he won at Martinsville in the Chick-fil-A Cup Series not too long ago. But he's going to force the issue four wide. Or is he? No, he's going to clear Annie Thomas there on the inside. And great to see Annie Thomas back in competition. She's racing in the number 10 this season. And she is definitely the most successful female driver on Napa Fan in this channel's history. And she's looking to contend for this championship as well, driving the number 10 for Stuart Haas Racing. Her teammates are Trey Barto, Zachary Fitzwater, and Emily Anderson. So two gals, two guys on that team. But uh, they're going to be a good team this season. I very well can incur. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what those guys do. Number 12 is Marty Johnson. We saw him in the back of the field earlier on. He's moving his way up. 31 of Cody Sill, Chick-fil-A Cup Series driver there on the inside. And in the 48 car this season, that is driven by Daniel Bouchard. And he's another one of these guys who doesn't have as much experience as the rest of the field. But um, he's a pretty good driver. And in a way, big one champion from last year. On this inside lane, looking to get something to happen for Hendrick Motorsports. To the point, Alexander Rowe holding on on the outside lane down the backstretch. Trying to hang on to the lead with Nathan Stapleton and Annie Thomas to his inside. Yeah, and now the 10 will get out to the lead, bringing the 12 with her. <laughs> Sorry, couldn't remember. The 31 also there. That's Cody Sill. Currently in the third position, Daniel Bouchard, as you said, right behind them. Annie Thomas to the lead in the number 10 with help from Marty Johnson and Cody Sill on the inside lane. And that inside lane's working pretty well so far in this event. Got to watch out for these guys possibly going four wide into the corner. Now the four wide is always caused by the guy who makes it four wide and pushes up the racetrack. So it's always going to be the third car in line. Oh boy. And in that case, it would have been Marty Johnson who would have caused that situation as he's the guy pushing up, allowing the guy behind him to get to the inside. But uh, we've only seen one instance of four wide so far in this race, and they got out of it, but barely. But uh, do you think we're going to see another situation like that, or do you think this race is going to go caution-free to the end? Well, it depends how aggressive these guys want to be. You saw earlier... Oh, there we they... go. There we go. And they're going to be aggressive here. 
Daniel Bouchard pushing up. He is going to clear the 19 of Thomas Troxel. Thomas Troxel won Zen Joltis last season. That's why he's competing this season here in the number 19. And he's got that inside lane run. He almost got to the inside. Nathan Stapleton, Alexander Rowe pushing off each other there. And uh, the pole sitter of this race, Davey Johnson, is at the end of the field. Now remember, only the top 10 competitors you finish here today will receive championship points. So you'll want to be in the top 10 if you're going to get a good points day. And if you're not, you get a big goose egg for the point standing. So these guys, they want to finish in the top 10. And these guys are going to be battling for top 10 positions all race long. We're not quite halfway through this one yet. But uh, you might want to start thinking about your strategy to get up into the top 10 and stay up there. As this race goes along, Cody Sill to the inside of Marty Johnson for the lead. Johnson's going to have the run barely on the outside lane, and he will lead lap 14 here at Daytona. Yeah, and you saw just about a lap ago, the 9 of John Arndt was a look to the inside of the 22 of Nick Smith and try and make it four wide. Fortunately, he did not do that and decided to just stay in line. We're going to have some four wide up front. Bouchard again opening a hole for Thomas Troxel, and this time Troxel's going to take it. This might be the moment. Daniel Bouchard, Cody Sill, Marty Johnson. Are they going to crash? Yes, they will in the outside wall hard. The big one off a of turn four. Bouchard, Marty Johnson, Nathan Stapleton around Cody Sill. And they're piling up behind them, and the caution will fly for the first time today. Alexander Rowe, Caleb Hoffman with damage in the 17 in his returning race. Trey Barto with heavy damage. Pole sitter Davey Johnson torn up in the 20. Annie Thomas in the 10 with damage. And there's the defending champion of Blaine Keys. Heavy damage on the 42, as that might be the end of his day. And the uh, race back to the line was won by the number 19 of Thomas Troxel with Nick Smith, John Art, Jesse Turner, and John Andrews, the top five, coming back to the line right at halfway here at Daytona. And uh, they couldn't figure that one out there, but a really long green flag run to open this race. Yeah, we saw that that was definitely going to happen coming off turn four. Not too much damage on that 42 car. I think he might be able to continue, but... I believe maybe the 78 Stuart Gratton was involved and managed to save his car there. Doesn't yeah, look like not he has too any damage. much damage on a lot of guys in this one. It wasn't a huge wreck. A lot of guys avoided it, but you see Daniel Bouchard, he was in the middle of that. He was the one that forced it for a wide there and opened the hole for Thomas Troxel. And you know, when you have a hole open up like that, you want to take the lead. You want to go ahead and take it. And uh, can't really blame Thomas Troxel for. Going to the inside of Bouchard there. Marty Johnson all torn up. Tough break for him as he moved his way to the front of the field in this race. That's probably going to be the end of the day for the number 12. But uh, not a lot of these guys have ultra-heavy damage. So uh, we'll have to see how it all shakes out. Stapleton was involved. Alexander Rowe with damage. The four car of Trey Barto. And uh, see the pole sitter, Davey Johnson, coming down the pit lane as well. Of course, we do not have any pit stops here in the Rockstar Pro Series at Daytona. We will have pit stops in select races this season, but not here today. And Thomas Troxel won the race back to the line. We'll see what he does on the restart after we review the crash that brought out the first caution here in the Daytona 125K. Well, are we surprised by this one or not? They figured it out the first time they went four wide, but it is very difficult to avoid a situation like this and not crash. Daniel Bouchard in the 48 moved it up. And that was the second time he moved it up as well. This time, Thomas Troxel took the bait, and uh, Bouchard moves up on Cody Sill, and uh, Calamity right behind him. Marty Johnson in the outside wall hard. You see Trey Barton go around. John Hart bumped around a little bit in the nine, but he should be able to continue. You see Jesse Turner, John Andrews, they drive away from this. And uh, Cody Sill in the 31 going around there. And I see all these guys pile in here. That is Blaine Keyes getting caught up with Trey Barto. Zachary Fitzwater avoided this one in the 41, even though he was right in the middle of all that. And Richard Kinghart as well. I believe he avoided the um, incident as well. Davy Johnson around in the 20 there, our pole sitter. I think Allen's in a row just flat spotted his tires. That might be why he came down the pit lane. I don't see any significant damage on his machine. And Caleb Hoffman coming back after retirement. Uh, he ran into Trey Barto there. And uh, doesn't look like any of these guys are going to get the win here today at Daytona. Yeah, just see four wide. 
Coming off the corner does not work. Contact between the 48 and 31. That was a pretty hard hit for the 48 into the outside wall. The, the three got spun by the 17, I believe, and Fitzwater does a nice job of just threading the needle, the needle and getting through there. Yeah, we're going to go on board with Zachary Fitzwater and see what he had to see during that accident. On board, the number 41 of Zachary Fitzwater for this incident right behind Blaine Keyes. You're going to see these guys go around, and he avoids it. It's a little bit of a tap there from his teammate, Annie Thomas, but uh, drives away cleanly, and uh, Fitzwater will be able to continue here today at Daytona. We are back here at the Daytona International Speedway to restart in the Daytona 125-kilometer race. It'll be... 13 laps to go when we restart here for the first race of the season. Remember, only the top 10 finishers will receive championship points, and it's 25 points for the win. So a lot at stake here for the first race of the season. Thomas Troxel in the number 19 leads the field. One of the more underdog stories here, along with Nick Smith. Both of these guys don't have too much experience, but they're the one two right now here at Daytona. You got John Arn. He won the 500th race on Napa Fan right here about a year ago. Jesse Turner won the first ever race on Napa Fan here about three years ago. Then John Andrews, Josh Crash, Hair Jalarv and Alonzo Cameron Gaju, Nicholas Samadio, and Emily Anderson round out the top ten back to racing here at Daytona. And the Daytona 125K is back underway in the Rockstar Pro Series. Yeah, good restart by the 19, able to get a good jump. And now John Arndt looks like he might. No, he's going to go to the inside of the 22. And the 6, 14, and 2 all dropping low. Yeah, trying to get to that inside lane when you can. Of course, there's still a long time left to go in this race. But uh, you want to make sure you're able to make a move, just in case you run into lap traffic, because there's going to be a few guys, I believe, that uh, might play a factor into this. You see Alex in a row. He's completely lost the draft here, and... Uh, he might be a factor in this lead battle if this race goes along. We'll see you got knocked out. And uh, only looks like Marty Johnson, Blaine Keyes, and Davey Johnson are out of the race. Still 21 drivers on the racetrack here at Daytona. So uh, not as many guys got knocked out of that one as we would normally see in a big crash like that. Here comes John Arn with Jesse Turner to the inside of Nick Smith as Thomas Troxell continues to lead in the number 19. And now he's going to have to try and block three lanes at once he's going to the middle oh maybe four lanes nope john arndt is going to get to the inside but will the 21 of john andrews make a move doesn't look like he will he doesn't need to do so quite yet he's going to push the number nine of john arndt to the lead if i'm not mistaken i believe john arndt has been in every single season of this series i know he was in season one it's where he made his napa fan debut uh by the way and uh here he is after Five seasons still racing here in the Rockstar Pro Series. He's going to lead that lap just to the inside of Thomas Troxel. And the car that makes this channel what it is, the number nine Napa Chevrolet. I mean, I wouldn't be Napa fan without this car, and uh, it's to the point here at Daytona. Of course, the Chase Elliott car is always usually one of the worst ones to pick in these series, but uh, right now he's up front in the number nine. Of course, the 24 is also a very unlucky number. The 24 has only won once in the Chick-fil-A Cup Series, and that was with this guy, John Arndt, last season. The 24 is just not the number to pick in the Cup Series. But uh, on a different note, Alonzo in the 24 is still in this thing, and uh, right now in the top 10, he would receive championship points at the way they're running right now. So we'll have to see where all these guys fall in play. The 88 of Richard Tinger is the last guy in this pack, and uh, we got everyone from Fitzwater on up in contention to get this win. 14 guys to be exact. So 10 of these guys will get points. The other four will most likely not receive any points. So they, they won't receive any points. But uh, you never know when some of these guys in the back of the field might end up closing in. Uh, when we have another caution possibly. But uh, hopefully we will not get another caution. But we're going to go four wide again. Come close to it at least. As Cameron Gaji moved up on John Arnon Thomas Troxel. John Andrews out front in the 21. Now nine laps to go in the Daytona 125K. And uh, let me tell you, Tristan Allen, he is still in this lead pack. Still with a chance at getting his third career win in this exact race. We'll see what he can do in the number two. Hanging back right now, looking to get an opportunity to move up front. And the number 19 of Thomas Troxel moving to the inside. Trying to block John Andrews. Trying to side draft him for the lead. 
He's on the outside trying to get something to stick in the number 19. And Josh Crash is probably like, won't Nick Smith get out of the way so I can try and help my teammate? Because he has his teammate right in front of him. That's the 19, Thomas Troxel. And both those drivers, Josh Crash, Thomas Troxel, driving for Joe Gibbs Racing. Of course, Nick Smith has nowhere to get out of the way, so he's got to stay right where he is. Cameron Gaju with help from Emily Anderson in the 14. Now, Emily Anderson came very close to winning the championship last season. If I'm not mistaken, she was leading in the points coming into the finale race here at Daytona. But she was unable to hold on to the points lead in that one, and she wants some redemption from that one. She's getting ready to enter the Chick-fil-A Cup Series next season as a uh, fellow teammate, Elijah Gordon, will be retiring, and... She would love to get a championship before she moves her way up to the highest level. And uh, she's right behind Cameron Gaja with a contention to win this race. And uh, getting points early on in the season is exactly how you win the championship. It's a 15-race season, but the first race can determine a lot as the season goes along. Gaja trying to get the run to the inside of John Andrews and Thomas Troxel. And he will do so and clear the 21 of John Andrews. Emily Anderson pushing him. How about Stuart Gratton? We really haven't talked about Gratton at all in this race, but he's in this lead pack with a chance of victory in the 78. Yeah, great job by the Australian driver, Stuart Gratton, driving the 78 currently. The Another now Australian in the field, Zachary Fitzwater on that inside lane as well. He won the Daytona 500 this season in the Chick-fil-A Cup Series. He knows how to get it done, and he also won that race from the pole as well, so... Fitzwater definitely a very skilled driver here at Daytona after that Daytona 500 win. And Nicholas Samadio is also a Daytona 500 champion along with the 43 of Jesse Turner. A lot of Daytona 500 champions in this pack. And of course you got Tristan Allen as well who's won this race two times before. So there's just a boatload of experience in this 14 car pack. And so many guys have a chance of winning this thing. And uh, we'll just have to see who it is once this thing finishes out. It's going to be five laps to go next time by in the Daytona 125K. Emily Anderson on the outside hangs on and leads lap 27. Richard Kingard in the 88 to the inside. Trying to get some things to stick down there. And how cool would that be for the 24 of Virgil Arvin Alonso to go to victory lane? He is currently in his, I believe, yeah, his final season in the Chick-fil-A Cup Series and potentially his final season in the Rockstar Pro Series. Not sure about that yet, but to go to victory lane here at Talladega, Daytona, not Talladega, in one of his final starts at Daytona, that would be pretty cool. It definitely would, and he's got a chance of doing so, but the thing is he's going to have to beat the guy behind him, and that's Tristan Allen, and I, I just am focusing on that too. He's in a good position right now, but they aren't really passing up front anymore. They're kind of log jammed out for the lead, and they're going to go four wide. I remember this race, and I think it was season four or season two, one of the two races, where Tristan Allen took it four wide for the lead late in the going to take home the win. I think that was season two. They almost went four wide again. They kept it together, and it's still Stuart Gratton and Emily Anderson out front. They're coming to three laps to go here at Daytona. In the opening race of the season in Season 5 of the Rockstar Pro Series, Gretton holding on to the lead on the inside, and he will edge Anderson for the lead, lap 29. I have a feeling we're going to have a very close side-by-side -side finish in this race. It's happened oh before here in the boy. past. Cody Sill and the 31 is going to get in the way of this lead battle. But well, which line will it get in the way for? So this is going to play a huge factor into who wins this race. They're closing right in on the 31. They're going to split them. Oh, They're going to go four wide to split the 31. Here comes Tristan Allen trying to break away from him, and he will. But I don't know if that's going to be enough for him. That broke the pack up tremendously, and Stuart Gretton holds on to the lead with two laps to go here at Daytona. No more lap cars in the way for our leaders, so that will be it. But that took about half of that field out of contention for getting this win. Stuart Gratton still hanging on in the 78. The 88 of Richard Kingard side-by-side -side with John Andrews, but that side-by-side -side battle slowing those guys down, and Gratton's able to stay out front. And Emily Anderson still has a shot to win this. Maybe going to try and go with her teammate, Zachary Fitzwater, 
down low, and now the 21, John Andrews making a move for the lead on Stuart Gratton. Coming to the no white help. flag here at Daytona, John Andrews and Stuart Gratton side by side, but they're leaving a bit of a gap between them and third place. John Andrews leads it with one lap to go. Who will get the win here at Daytona? I have a feeling it might be the 21. He has the advantage currently on the inside, and or maybe the 88, Richard Kinghart could steal the win. We're just going to have to see John Andrews trying to block the 78 of Stuart Gretton, unable to oh, do no. so. And Gretton with a push on the outside. They're coming to the checkered flag. I think we'll avoid Alexander Rowe for this finish, but we're going to have a close finish. Stuart Gretton, John Andrews, side by side at the line. Who's it going to be? I oh, think Gretton it's going to be have... John Andrews in the Andrews 21, guy. hanging on to get the win. Here in the Daytona 125K in the Rockstar Pro Series. And they almost ran into Alexander Rowe there at the end, but they just barely avoided him as they crossed the line. Gretton had an outside lane push, almost got the win. But today it's John Andrews in the 21, the first winner of the season in the Rockstar Pro Series season number five. And Tristan Allen still got points in this race, so... He still did a pretty good job here today at Daytona. But the drivers receiving points here today. John Andrews, Stuart Gretton, Richard Kinghart, Hergelar of Alonzo, Zachary Fitzwater, the number 14 of Emily Anderson, Thomas Troxel, Tristan Allen, Nick Smith, and Cameron Gaju, the top 10. And that's a pretty close finish there at the end here for the opening race of the season. John Andrews coming home with the victory in the Daytona 125K. Yeah, and I thought Gratton had the advantage there. They, he did when they entered the tri-oval, but Andrews just got the, oh, got the push, but, okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, he got the push there coming to the checkered flag, and that really helped him. Two one-hundredths of a second. What a finish. Definitely a close one. We've seen closer, but that one was definitely worth the wait. A pretty good race here at Daytona to open up the season. Only one crash, only three guys got knocked out, and uh, had 20 guys finish on the lead lap, so... Pretty clean race, all things considered, for Daytona. And a pretty fun one at that. A lot of battles going on up front. And it's John Andrews. And uh, he recently won in the IndyCar Series at Lime Rock. He's getting another win here in 2018, this time in the Rockstar Pro Series. But anyways, thank you guys very much for watching. Next week, we got the Auto Club race for the Auto Club 100K over there in California. That'll be another crazy event here for the Arrow or for the Rockstar Pro Series. I'm gonna have a hard time distinguishing the difference for a while, you guys. So just hang with me, okay? It's fine. Don't worry. But anyways, congratulations to John Andrews for getting the victory here at Daytona. And here are the point standings after race one in season five of the Rockstar Pro Series. On behalf of Carter Friesen, thank you guys very much for watching, and I will see you guys later. Yeah,